about 5G, of course, a big, big theme of the conference for several years now. Uh, how far are you from rolling out 5G services with Orange? So that's, that's really the starting point. Uh, in 2019, we'll be developing 5G in seven cities in Europe uh, with real customers. Uh, you know, it's going to be live, um, and that's very exciting. We did very, a lot of different uh, experimentation and tests uh, in 2018. So 19 at the very beginning, we will have the 17 cities. And then, you know, depending also on the availability of the devices, of course, because you need the devices, uh, we will start end of 19. In 2020. Yes. Now, of course, with 5G, uh, you've got the gear suppliers, and of course, Huawei, among others like Ericsson and Nokia, has been supplying the gear for 4G. The U.S. has been urging allies to drop Huawei from uh, 5G implementation. Huawei, I have to say, has always vociferously and repeatedly denied any wrongdoing in terms of security and espionage. I know that you use a mix of different equipment makers, but are you making any preparations in the event that? Huawei gear is banned from 5G services. So what, what we're doing, first of all, is trying to uh, reaffirm that the security is a key element for us. So we are taking care of the security of our network. We are taking care of you know, the, the trust that uh, our customers uh, is, is putting on us. So that's really key. And on the other hand, we need a very dynamic vendor ecosystem in order to make sure that we can you know, leverage of any innovation and that we can have you know very competitive market in order to yes. run out the 5G very properly. So we're working with the different uh, vendors, of course uh, Nokia, Ericsson, uh, but Huawei and Samsung because you know it's also an opportunity to have newcomers in the game. Uh, so we are very pragmatic. We're just you know making experimentation today yes. with them in order to make sure that we can catch everything and we will have you know a, a balance. Uh, policy depending of the, of the geography also. Yes, if you had to drop Huawei as a vendor, I know that's not the case yet, but it's something that everybody needs to be thinking about. If you had to drop Huawei as a vendor, how long would that delay your rollout of 5G? We need to work very, very closely with, with Nokia, with Ericsson, with Samsung. So, of course, you know, there's that, that we need to avoid any further delay because it would have been, it, it might be very damaging for Europe globally. So we need to make sure that we test all of them at the same time in 2019 in order to make sure that we are not delaying too much to 5G. And that delay will also depend on the country. Um, and the, the case of France, is, it's quite positive for that. In the case of France, there's been discussion about consolidation for years. The reasons for that, of course, stiff, stiff competition, sapping profits. You did predict softer growth in your latest numbers in a very competitive domestic market. Also, of course, the looming cost of 5G. Will we see consolidation? this year in France? You know, more probably we'll not, we, we will not see any consolidation. Um, so we are, you know, doing quite well in that market this year, even if we are four operators. So have we, as always said, you know, we do think that, you know, having three big actors on the market might be easier and might be profitable to the customers. But that's not the case. And we will keep on living with the four. And, and you know, we don't see 2019 as the consolidation year, but who knows? 